I was called in to have a meeting. I'm going to spend a bit of time talking about how the idea for this vlog came up and how it's going to work. So unfortunately my time with Ryan Baiacano has come to an end but that's football. So now we move on and we try and find another club. We go back to basics, we go back to the Excel spreadsheet, we go back to the emails, the letters, the phone calls and you'll find out and I'll find out if this time we can have a bit more success. Yeah. All in place, this is amazing grace. I made a way to change the game amongst the greats. A favorite based upon the latest page of rotten papers. Homies rolling papers, talked it up and choked it out the same way that it came. Up in the cave for two days, ain't shit been the same. So today I'ma prove it. Oh God, I'ma lose it. Truth is hard for the nigga, don't do shit. Hit miss, get dismissed with the best miss. Kicks and beat this night. Hi guys. It's been a bit of a manic couple of weeks actually. Um came to an end with Ryo by Akano. Uh, the first team signed a new goalkeeper. Uh, it was a bit difficult, but I'd had quite a lot of weeks. I had five weeks training there, so I was really good, really enjoyed it. But it was a shame that I couldn't stay on and be offered anything. But luckily, that opened a door with Fuen Labrada. Fuen Labrada are in the third division here in Spain. They were kind enough to let me to come in and train um, end of last week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I trained. And Friday, didn't train. And then today, Saturday, had a game with the reserve team, 1-1-0. One, one, so it's been a really good week, really enjoyed it. It's a good club. Um, the quality is very high, the players are class, the coaches are top quality. And um, I'm definitely seeing a benefit in the training that we're doing. And I hope that I'll be able to stay on there properly. So yeah, a bit of an update on how it's going. Really enjoying it for when Labrada, and fingers crossed that I'll be able to stay there properly. So I thought it'd be a nice backdrop for this little video if we came to the uni. So this is Universidad de Carlos III de Madrid. A nice change to windy, wet Loughborough, but yeah, so this is a bit of um, an introduction to the uni life. Lectures started this week, so it's um, slowly getting used to it. There's a few people from Loughborough that I know that are in the class with me. I'm taking modules kind of based on a business administration course. It's a bit like the kind of the US program where you pick the modules that you want to do. Um, as an Erasmus student, it's not as strict. You can pick things from first year, second year, third year courses. Uh, so I've got a good mix. I've got a marketing module, financial systems, uh, organization structure, things like that. Uh, also doing a Spanish language course, to hopefully improve my, my language a bit. And there'll be one other. I have to change it. I picked a statistics module. 
and I picked statistics two, even though I haven't done statistics one, and in the first couple of classes, way out of depth. Uh, the classes are a bit different. Lectures are kind of smaller, and uh, maybe you have one big lecture and one almost tutorial for each module each week. Um, so with my big classes, they're not even that big, they're probably 40, maybe 50 people. Small classes down to 20, uh, as opposed to Loughborough, where some of the modules, some of the lectures might be 300, 400 people. Attendance is more important, there's no filming of lectures, so you have to be there, take all your notes. Most days I have two lectures in the afternoon after training in the morning. Um, one day I'll, I'll do a bit of filming to show you the, the kind of day programme. So I'll show you what, what I do in the morning, what we do at training, then getting back to the college, then what we do in each lectures and the work I have to do in the evening. So yeah, what else? Fuenlabrada, uh, still training at Fuenlabrada, learning lots from the goalkeepers, from the goalkeeper coach, from the players, from the staff. But it's going alright, I'm enjoying it. I'm settling down into the routine now and um, yeah, I can feel that it's going to be a good year. Hola, que tal? It is quarter to ten on Sunday the 17th of September. Hope you're all well. Um, I'm going to spend a bit of time talking about how the idea for this vlog came up and how it's going to work. Um, so basically, me and a very talented guy called JJ have come up with the idea for these vlogs. Um, now you've probably worked out by the standard and the quality and the professional look of these videos that it's definitely not me who's doing the editing. Um, my only job is to show you what I do and to press record on the camera. JJ is the mastermind behind all of these vlogs and he's the one that makes it look incredible. Thank you, Con, uh, for those kind words. My name is uh, Johnny, um, but yeah, Con and I decided to give this collaboration a go, basically to put our uh, skills to the test and come up with something that hopefully we can vouch for and, and really uh, have a lot of input into from both sides. But yeah, stay tuned and back to Con. JJ, or Johnny, is my housemate from Loughborough. Um, and one of my closest mates and we've lived together for the past two years at Loughborough Uni. You can go and have a look at his YouTube channel, he's gonna ping it up here, his Instagram, his Facebook page, his any other tag. And you can have a look about what he does as well because he has a lot of projects, not just this project that we're doing together, but a lot of projects that he does by himself. This isn't just for us, this is for the you as the audience. Um, whether you're interested in football in general, filmmaking, the journey for someone trying to become a professional footballer, whether you're interested in what I'm doing, whether you want to study abroad, uh, there's lots of different concepts that we hope these videos can kind of cover. Any Anything you guys kind of want to have a look at or what you want to focus on, please let us know. One other bit of news, some exciting news over the weekend. Uh, on Friday afternoon after training at Fuenla Brada, um, I was called in to have a meeting where I was told that the club would like me to stay, which is great news for me. After a two or three week trial, I am a player at Fuenla Brada and I'm going to really kick on and show what I can do and watch and learn and improve every day. That's my job and that's what I'm going to do and I can't wait to do it, so. I wanted to explain a little bit what happened at the end of my time with Rai Baiocano and how I ended up at Fuenlabrada. I haven't really explained that middle bit. Towards the end of my time with Rai Baiocano, it became quite clear that I was a backup, really, for the club. Um, it's a huge club in Spain and to be there and to train with them, be given the opportunity to see how a club that size is run and to be part of a squad within that club was a new experience for me. I'd not been at a club of that size before and I was 
it was an unbelievable experience and I learned a lot from it. The first team only had one senior goalkeeper and the two B team keepers from the previous year were training with the first team. I was with the B team and so was the lad from the youth team. So we were kind of holding the spaces with the B team while they sorted out the keeper scenario with the first team. If the first team signed another senior goalkeeper, one of the B team keepers would move back down and that would remove me from the B team because I was the only one of all those goalkeepers who hadn't actually signed the contract yet. Uh, during that time, Fuenlabrada had spoken to me and said, um, we appreciate your letters, your emails, your videos. We'd like you to come in and train. At that point, I made the decision to stay at Ryan Bayakano uh, because I thought the management knew me. They'd seen three or four weeks of my work. They understood what I was about. And I felt that gave me a higher chance of being offered something somewhere which was completely new. Two weeks before the end of the transfer window, the first team signed another goalkeeper which moved the lad back down to the B team and it meant I got a message one evening saying the club doesn't need you to come in anymore. Thank you for your efforts, we appreciate them but there's no need for you to continue with us. You can come in and say goodbye to everyone before training but then you'll have to go. It sounds quite brutal and in other walks of life it may be unusual but in football that's what happens and it's something if you're in football you just have to deal with. I was obviously frustrated, it felt like a failure but you have to swallow it and you have to get on with it. So I went in, I said thank you to everyone and I left that morning. I then had to start again from scratch, I had to go back to my Excel spreadsheet, I had to look up the clubs that I could contact. I sent another message to Fuenlabrada saying, is it possible for me to come in and train? The tables were turned in that case. I came crawling back and asked if there was another chance. Fuenlabrada then came back to me and said, yes, you can come in and train. It was a, an offer which they didn't have to give me. It was a second chance that you don't normally get. And I grabbed it with both hands. I went in and I trained with them, with the first team. After a couple of days training, um, they said to me, we want a third choice keeper, we want someone who's under 23, we want someone who's willing to watch and to learn off our two first team keepers and our goalkeeper coach and management. We want someone who won't necessarily play for the first team straight away, we want someone who's not going to be paid very much. But they said, we only have two days left before the transfer window shuts and you've only been here for two days, we can't make the decision on whether we want you or not on two days worth of training. So they said, keep coming to training um, and we'll have a look at you and see if there's anything we can do. So the transfer window shut, but I continued to come to training with the first team. I was very, very grateful to be given that opportunity. And from the point where I was let go from Rabbi Akano and I had no idea of where I could go to, it was a perfect scenario. I can train with two goalkeepers who, one of whom played for six or seven years in La Liga, was at Real Madrid, another of whom is highly, highly rated and will one day play in La Liga, along with a goalkeeper coach who's the best I've ever worked with and a management and first team are of the highest quality. I couldn't be more grateful to Fuenlabrada for giving me that second chance, for giving me the opportunity to come in and to show what I can do and to prove going forward that I can be considered to play in the first team because that's my goal and objective. So I'm very, very happy and I'm very motivated by this opportunity that I've got now with Wendell Brown. So thanks for listening and I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye.